Welcome guys, it's day one of this challenge. I'm so excited about it because I love doing all the other ones, but especially the 14 day challenge. And here's our 12 day challenge, 12 days off of like 12 days of Christmas because it's that time of year. But anyway, 12 day challenge. Um, we're gonna start on our mats. <clears throat> so as we go through this, it's a mix, remember, of uh, yoga, ballet, Pilates, and some other things thrown in. I'm going to go through different exercises. I'm not using music, so I want the sound to be nice and crystal clear for you. So please um, inspire yourselves. If you like music, wax them on. It's going to progress as we go along. We're going to have a stretchy day somewhere in the middle to look forward to but everyone's different and every day is different so listen to your body modify as you need to you can always go back and do them again and again and again and it's good to have something to work up to we're going to start on our hands and knees remember it's always it's the way you do it not what you do so much claw through the fingers push into the tops of the feet draw your navel in and hug your lower ribs towards your spine draw the shoulders down the back let's get good posture from the offset we're gonna do some cat cows here inhale arching as you exhale squeeze your core chin to chest breathing in and opening exhale and arching my hands are even they have even weight distribution on them move with your breath here Inhaling, arching, exhale, rounding. Let's add a leg. As we arch, kick the right leg up. As we round, squeeze your thigh to your chest, contracting through the core. Inhale up, exhale in. Inhale up, exhale in. Five more for five. Working at your maximum. Four, and in. Three, and in. You're never going to need any equipment for any of these workouts, by the way. Two, just a mat if you've got one. Last one. Breathing in, exhaling, coming back to neutral, checking in. Shoulders down the back, claw through the fingers, come onto the fists if your wrists are achy. Here we go. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, squeeze, thigh towards your chest. Inhale, open. Exhale, squeeze. Pushing into the top of the right foot. Inhale, open. Exhale, squeeze. And up. And in. Using the breath for four, building heat, and three, and two, last one open, and squeezing in, good, coming to plank, shoulders down, if at any point plank is too much, use half plank, okay, otherwise we're in plank, wherever you are, send your buttocks down towards your heels, Shoulders down the back, long spine, now breathe. Be strong here, soften the knees, send your hips all the way up like a downward facing dog or an inverted V. Send the soles of the feet towards the floor, but keep pushing away out of the wrists. Rotate your shoulders out and under to open through the shoulders. Relax the head. We're gonna um, undulate here, we're gonna round forwards from the base of your spine, rounding forwards, use your core, coming forwards to plank or half plank with the knees, knees down, and then sending the hips, peeling it back up, bottom first, all the way up, lots of length, pelvic floor lifting here. And again, exhale round from the base of the spine all the way to the crown of the head, soften the knees, inhale, send it back. Move with your breath, claw into 10 fingers, exhale. Really good for your core and shoulder strength here, but also really good to get some fluid, some space opening through the spine. Couple more. Forwards we round, strong long line, soft knees, send it up and back. Exhale forwards, spike the heels back, shoulders down, long spine, navel draws in, pelvic floor lift. And then slowly walk the feet in. Let's roll up slowly, slowly. Soft knees, tummy muscles engaged. We're going to start with some standing exercises here. <clears throat> We're going to go plies. We're working parallel. So I'm going to face sideways so you can see what's happening here. We're going to work two groups of muscles in two very different ways. So we're going to start with a, like a chair pose. If you do yoga, it's like ukatasana. So send the hips back, float the arms forward, long spine, navel draws in, shoulders down the back. Have a go. From here, we push the floor away. And now, totally different technique. Squeeze the legs together. Keep the shoulders directly over your hips. Squeeze the legs together. If it feels OK on the knees, you can lift the heels. Come all the way down and back up. If it doesn't feel OK, just stay here. 
and again send the hips back for two one two shoulders stay down lift for two weight is in the toes as we push down in a long line for two and float up for two and again navel in one and two and push the floor away and float down strong core strong arms shoulders down up for two keep it going and down for two lift up for two and we float down stretch the arms out reaching through the fingers using our own resistance working the full body here one and two squeeze your buttocks up for two float down for two and push away twice more and squeezing low as you can and up for two and lower for two push the floor away and again sit back for two and lift up for two shoulders down straight down for two and lift up take the feet to second turning out slightly toes to the corners same thing here we're going to sit back for two, hands forwards, working into our hips, buttocks, thighs, coming up for two. Then turn the feet out a little bit more, straight down the middle. One, two for second, and then up for two. And again, we send the hips back for two, reaching the arms forward, low as you can, squatting down, up for two. That's a squat. Now turn out and plie for two, float the arms up, push into the balls of the feet, engage the inside thighs to come up. Bring the feet in slightly as we sit back. For two, we have two very different techniques here, up for two, so we're working everything. Turn out and plie, for two, there should be no discomfort in the knees. Each time we bend, so we've brought the feet in slightly, our knees should trace over our middle toe, up for two. Now turn the feet out a bit more, so the knees go out a bit more, for two, and back. If your knees can't go over your toes, you've gone too far. Squat, for two, chest is open, squeeze your buttocks, for two. Down for two. Now when we come up, we feel the inside thighs work. For two. And squat down. For two. Squeeze your glutes. Relax your shoulders. Smile and down. For two. And float up. Twice more. Work at your optimum. Down. For two. Push up. For two. And our one. And two. And lift up. Last time. Going down. For two. Push away. For two. Chest lifts down. For two. And up, keep the arms up, high V, shoulders down, rise, lower, rise, lower. So as we do this, lift out of your hips, keep rising, keep the arms up. Imagine you're trying to squeeze the legs together in the middle, so inside thighs squeezing as we lift up, 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 and up. For eight, seven, navel in, six, five, four, and three, and two, and one. Great, lunge and twist. Take your right leg behind, big lunge, arms are out to second. We're going to take the right arm forward, so twisting from the waist. So we twist as we lunge, and then we're going to bring the back leg up. If you can, straighten it, flex it, and we twist towards the front leg. Down for two. If it's too much to extend it, you can hold it here, otherwise out for two. Here we go. Right leg goes back. One, two, lift with control. Down for two, and up for two, and six. Rotating from the waist, five, and lift, and four, and up, flexing the foot, three, I forgot, I keep forgetting to flex, up, big lunge down for two, and up, great for opening the back here, one, and up, let's switch sides, breathe, left leg goes back, big bend down, arms to second, now bring the left arm forwards, twisting, make sure your shoulders are over hips, and up for two and down with control bending as low as you can then straightening both legs together and plie <sighs> lift up for two and down squeeze your core muscles in four and lunge make sure your underneath leg straightens as you come up three and down two and lower last one and down Release. Good. Well done. We're going to do eagle kicks. Okay. Working into the outer hips and glutes here. Bring your left foot in front, right foot behind, arms to second. Sorry, right foot in front, left foot behind. We're here. So I want you to try and get your shoulders, chest almost in line with your hips, but without rounding. So draw the shoulders back. Hold your core. Check that your right knee's over your middle toe. It's not coming forwards. 
We're going to kick the left leg up for eight with control. Eight, staying bent down. Seven, lower. Six, keep shoulders in line with hips. Five, four, cross it behind, shoulders down the back. Three, long neck. Two, strong arms, strong core. One, switch sides. You'll feel that in your buttock. Knee over middle toe. Think about your form. Abs are in, shoulders down. All the little bits we're doing in between of our big exercises, we're still working, training the body. Shoulders down, strong core. Eight, and lower. Keep that bend, seven, so it's not up and down. Six, five, keeping the arms strong for four, and three, and two, you're doing awesome. One, breathe. Ooh, plie and a star jump. We're gonna plie down for second. Star jump here, if you're not star jumping, you can rise. And plie, and jump. Hold, and jump, hold. Jump or rise, keep the back up, down. Check knees over middle toes for four, three, two, one, release. Really nice work. Let's come onto our backs. We're going to work on some abs. Oh, yeah. Crunches. So, <clears throat> hands behind your head, interlock the fingers. Feel your back nice and in contact, flush with the mat. Extend the right leg out. Turn the right leg out. Okay, so little toe to the floor, heel towards the ceiling. Open the elbows, feel a contraction. Lift your pelvic floor. As we crunch up, so think chin and chest to ceiling, we're gonna lift from the inside of the right leg, working the inside thigh here. Up, inhale down, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lower, up, down. So we're not relaxing at the bottom, keeping that control, that contraction up and down. Notice that your back is in contact with the mat the whole time. Exhale up, inhale down for eight. Elbows stay open, neck is long. Six, working at your optimum. Five, these are short workouts, so go for it for four. Three, we don't need to work out for two, too, too long if we're doing it all properly. One, switching legs, stretch the left leg out, rotate it from the hip. Little toe down, keep it straight, lengthening. Lift the pelvic floor, exhale. Chin, chest to ceiling, and down, and up, and down. Imagine someone's pulling your left leg out of your hip as you do this. We've got loads of length. Up, and down. Four, eight. Keep that contraction. Seven, all the work here coming from your core. Lift the pelvic floor, draw the navel in as you hug the ribs down to come up. For four, three, keep the elbows open. Two, one, extend the right leg, same thing for four. Here we go, four, and lower. Three, keep the elbows open, face is soft. Two, and one, switch legs, turn it out, straighten it up, and down. Three, and down. Two, and down. One, and change again for four. Lower, three, really squeezing for two. And one last time on the left, up, and lower. Three, and lower, two, one. Take both legs up, right foot in front, point your feet, hands down by your side, or modification to make it slightly easier, you can place them under your hips. We're gonna send both feet up towards the ceiling, try not to rock, straight up, for 16, 15. Using that pelvic floor squeeze to lift up, and up, for 10, nine. Chin is to chest, eight, seven, six, Five, really squeeze for four. Inside those working as well for three, two, one. Change legs for 16, 15, 14, 13. Stick with me straight up, straight down, pressing the palms down. 10, nine, eight, seven. Relax your face, long neck. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ha! Ah, rocking up, really nice. Coming onto your front. We're going to do a little bit for the back body here. We're almost done. Doing awesome. 
<clears throat> just move this one out of the way. I apologise if there's any rustling. Okay, onto our bellies. We're going to start with the arms wide today. Come onto your fingers, draw the shoulders down the back. Neck is long. Engage your legs so your thighs are really lifted. Knees are not touching, so we're not here. Knees not touching the floor. Gently press your pubic bone into the mat. Lift the pelvic floor as we come up for two. And roll down. Feel nice after you've done your abdominals. Lifting up for two. So pubic bone on top of the feet, press down. And then we roll back down. Four more. Rolling up for two and down. For two, squeezing the shoulders together, using your back muscles for two, and down. Last two, pelvic floor lifts up. One, and two, and lower. For two, lift up and hold this time. Come onto the palms, draw the shoulders back. Little head movement, side to side, opening through the chest. No tension in the neck, lowering down. Now bring your arms in underneath your shoulders. Squeeze the elbows in, pressing up to the knees. Up for two, keep the navel and neck as long down all the way to the belly, keeping the elbows in. And again, push up for two and down for two. Moving in one long straight line, keeping the elbows in, that's vital. Down for two. Hands are under your shoulders towards the ribs for two and down. We've got four more. If anyone wants to work from plank here, they can. And down for two, or you can see on the knees, three. And lower, keep the neck long for two. And lower, keep the navel in. Last one and lower, pushing up. It's our last exercise. It's what we're gonna call the burn. So each day I'm gonna finish with one exercise that might make you go, whoo, it's a challenging one. Go slow, go at your own pace. <coughs> we're gonna start in plank with the shoulders down or half plank. If you're in half plank, curl the toes. We're gonna hop the feet forwards to a squat position. Now, if you can't get your heels down, you're here, that's okay, do not worry. If you can, then you're gonna lift the arms up to fifth Place the hands back down, jump it back to plank. It's like a half yogi squat burpee if one likes. Let's go. Plank or half plank. Just a few of these. Shoulders down, navel in, last thing. Here we go. Jump forwards, lift or hold, lower. Jump it back and jump in. Abs are in, shoulders down, lift. Place it down, hop back and in. And lift, keep the knees in line with your middle toes, guys. In, lift, down, hop back for eight. Keep breathing. Seven, lift for six. Shoulders are down. And five, really gonna feel this one. For four, everything's working. Down, lift, up, place, back. Last two, lift the body. Last one, we're going to hold here. Relax the arms, send your hips high, keep the knees soft, take hold of the elbows, have a sway. Ah, good work, breathe. Really nice. Put your right hand down, lift the left arm, coming into a big twist here, soft knees if you need to. Switch sides. Release down, soften the knees, roll up. If you've got time, do a stretch video, awesome. If not, I'm just going to stretch the main muscles here. Knees hip width apart, gently press the pelvis forward, opening through your hip and thigh. Hope day one has gone well for you. Ankle over thigh, sit back, stretching through that glute. Hands to prayer, or the side, or the floor. Breathing fully, keeping this foot nice and active, protects your knee. Rolling up. Knees in line with hips, gently sending the pelvis forward. Relax the shoulders, breathe. Good, ankle over thigh, sit back. Do remember, it, it really is about your form and how you're doing things, okay? If you can set 15, 20 minutes aside each day to do some self-care exercise, that is enough, that's great. Obviously, if you have more time, awesome, but, but that's enough. Just stay nice and mindful with your movement. Right heel goes back, calf stretch. Breathing. And release. Other heel goes down, lengthen through the spine. Lifting up, lowering. Ah, smile and let go. Mwah. 
see you for day two tomorrow.